This video will show you how to replace the windshield frame on a Fleetwood Revolution. Uh, the main reason I had to replace it was due to the rust, as you can see here in these few photos, video. mainly due to the condensation building up over the years. They did have drain holes, but that didn't seem to help out. First, you have to remove the uh, inside pillars cover on both sides. And the uh, curtain rods had to re take the front part Unscrew those. Also, this bottom cover, take the screws out for that. And also, these top pad uh, covers had to take the screws out of those, remove those. Here's the outside, had to remove the uh, pillar covers on the outside too. You have bolts that go up and down that hold the frame there on the outside. And of course remove the mirrors. More bolts there for the windshield frame. And also the hood, remove the front hood. And also the wiper blades, I ended up taking removing those also make it easier. Also here, the uh, heater hoses, they have to be removed. Here's a replacement window. I tried to order a new frame, but they were not available from the factory. They had uh, one of their sub-suppliers wanted a minimum order. They build so many, they didn't want to just make one. Take special equipment to make the frame, to build that frame. Tried to get a couple estimates, uh, but nobody wanted to me mess with it. It was too much work. They didn't have the equipment to make them. And also, uh, it's a uh, highway uh, safety standard, too, that they had to say liability problems. They didn't want to get involved with it. Ended up getting one from the uh, a used one. It was in a lot better shape, just a little bit of rust. Here's the inside. You had to remove. Uh, had to remove the TV, stereo, and so forth. First, there also the windshield wiper. Remove the bolts and all that held the motor. You can see in the back there the uh, big bolts. I think there's like eight or nine of those. There, there they are again. That holds the top cap to the uh, top of the windshield frame. And a little further back, uh, there's some smaller bolts that bolt into the back part of the windshield frame. There you can see the bolts. That's the top on closest to us. That's the top of the windshield frame. You can see the big bolts there that were in the previous picture, the nuts on top of them, where the cap bolted down. Here's a look again from the inside. Where the Looking up in the uh, top cap area where you have to remove the bolts. And some of them are back in here. They're pretty difficult to get to. I use a remote camera to be able to see back in there to get them loose. Very tight space to work in.
and still working in that kind of the same pictures video. There's the smaller bolts I was saying they had to get those also. I think I believe there's like four four or so of those. And then two small two smaller ones right behind the TV that bolted that to the frame. There's the front windshield removed. Like I say, the wiper blades, mirrors, all that have been removed. Also supporting that uh, window frame is uh, supporting a lot of the weight there, the cap and the cabinets and stuff inside. So it does have some weight that you have to take off to be able to get that frame out. Here is a frame starting to come be removed. I rented the hoist that really helped out. Got the weight off of it. I was able to remove it after all, removing all the bolts inside and out. You also have at the lower along the bottom inside there on that the big black flat part there that bolts to the back along the frame of the coach. That's basically uh, all it takes to remove it. It is quite a job, big undertaking. I hope this uh, helps. Of course, just repeat the process, reverse the process to install the, the other replacement frame. Thank you for watching.